Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x minus 1 to the power of 6. This is equal to 3 to the power of 6. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. We have x minus 1 to the power of 6. This is equal to 3 to the power of 6. So let's take 3 to the power of 6 on the left hand side. So that we have x minus 1 to the power of 6 minus 3 to the power of 6. This is equal to 0. We can express x minus 1 to the power of 6 as x minus 1 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 6, which is 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. This equation here is of the form a squared minus b squared. This is equal to 0. We can express this as a plus b multiplied by a subtract b. This is equal to 0. From this equation here, we have that a is equal to x minus 1 raised to the power of 3. This equation here. We have that a is equal to x minus 1 to the power of 3 and that b is equal to 3 to the power of 3. So now a plus b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x minus 1 to the power of 3. 10 plus 3 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Then we have that a subtract b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x minus 1 to the power of 3. Subtract 3 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. So we can call this case 1 and this case 2. So let's start with case 1 from here. Case 1, we have x minus 1 to the power of 3. 10 plus 3 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. This equation here is of the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 that we can express as a plus b into the parentheses. This is a squared minus a times b plus b to the power of 2. So here we have x minus 1 plus 3. Then we have x subtract 1 raised to the power of 2, then subtract 3, multiplied by x minus 1, then plus 3 squared, which is 9. This is equal to 0. This is equal to 0. Now here we have x minus 1 plus 3. This is x plus 2. Into the parentheses, this is x minus 1 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b to the power of 2 that you can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, this is x to the power of 2 plus 1, then minus 2x, then subtract. Let's open the parentheses here. Minus 3 times x, this is minus 3x. Minus 3 times minus 1, this is plus 3, then plus 9, this is equal to 0. So we have x plus 2. Into the parentheses, this is x to the power of 2. Now we have minus 2x minus 3x, this is minus 5x. Then we have 1 plus, 1 plus 3 here, this is 4, 4 plus 9, this is equal to 13. Close the parentheses, this is equal to 0. Now, the next step is that we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 2, this is equal to 0. And we have a quadratic equation which is x squared minus 5x plus 13, this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have x1 is equal to minus the second part here is a quadratic equation where we have a is equal to 1, b 
is equal to minus 5 and c is equal to 13. So we can solve for x2, comma x3 by applying the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c. Everything here divided by 2 times a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that now we have minus minus 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 5 to the power of 2 minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 13 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so this means that here this is minus times minus 5 this is 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 5 squared this is 25 minus 4 times 13 this is minus 52 everything here divided by 2 now the next step is that we have 5 plus or minus we have the square root of 25 minus 52 25 minus 52 this is minus 27 divided by 2 so this is 5 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 27 as 9 times 3 times minus 1 everything here divided by 2 so this implies that we have 5 plus or minus the square root of 9 this is 3 the square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions and a case one this is x3 this is x2 comma x3 let's proceed to case 2 from here let's proceed to case 2 now in case 2 we have x minus 1 to the power of 3 subtract 3 to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 this equation here is of the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 which can be expressed as a minus b into the parentheses this is a squared plus a times b plus b to the power of 2 so we have x subtract 1 minus 3 cross the parentheses then here we have x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 then plus 3 multiplying by x minus 1 then plus 3 squared which is 9 then this is equal to 0 so this is x minus 1 minus 3 this is x minus 4 then here we have x minus 1 to the power of 2 this is x squared plus 1 minus 2x let's open the parentheses here plus 3x then 3 times minus 1 this is minus 3 plus 9 this is equal to 0 so we have x minus 4 this is x to the power of 2 minus 2x plus 3x this is plus x then we have 1 minus 3 this is minus 2 then plus 9 we have minus 2 plus 9 this is plus 7 this is equal to 0 so we have got two parts here we have x subtract 4 this is equal to 0 and we have x to the power of 2 plus x plus 7 this is equal to 0 from the first part here we have that x4 is equal to 4 x4 is equal to 4 this is the second real solution here and the second part here is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 7 we can solve for x5 comma x6 by applying the quadratic formula here which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c everything here divided by 2 times a now let's substitute the values of a b and c 
into this formula here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 7 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared this is 1 minus 4 times 7 which is 28 everything here divided by 2 so this means that here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 27 everything here divided by 2 we can express the square root of minus 27 as now this is the same thing as the square root of 9 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1 everything here divided by 2 so this implies we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 9 this is 3 square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 over 2 this is x5 comma x6 so you find that these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions under case 2 and this totals to six solutions we have six solutions to this math problem we have x1 we have that x1 is equal to minus 2 we have that x2 comma x3 this is equal to 5 plus or minus 3i square root of 3 divided by 2 these are two complex solutions two complex solutions and we have that x4 is equal to to 4 this is a real solution and also this is a real solution so we have two real solutions and lastly we have x5 comma x6 which which are also two complex solutions so we have four complex solutions and two real solutions so thank you for watching country for the steps like this video if you have alternative solution method country showcase in the comment section See you in the next video.